Welcome back to the channel folks, we are on another little stealthy adventure. We have found ourselves a nice little plot on the side of this show carriageway and I think it's going to be a good little home for the night. So this is what we're working with here. There's a bit of a slope but over this side of the wee little wall here I think this little area here will be flat enough. Luxurious tonight. We've got our foil mat, we've got our OEX self inflate mat, and then we've got our other lightweight OEX mat on top of that. It is to drop to be three degrees tonight. I have one sleeping bag with me. I have it out. I've got another small um, like summer sleeping bag in there. If I need to, I'll put that inside that. Two pillows, the usual little little tent. What we're having for um, refreshments and nutrients. We're having steak for dinner with some of this here nasagori, is that right? Rice stuff, um, pepper, onion, some snacks for later. A couple of strongbow. Oh, I didn't bring commission out. I thought I would uh, be a bit more exotic and have a cup of glass of wine. Well deserved. Strongbow. Uh, that's good stuff. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Um, this is handy for campers that are travelling and you haven't got time to get your battery pack charged. This portable uh, battery charger. Now, it takes four A batteries and on the top it has a USB and a little torch. But it is only really a backup because it is extremely slow at charging your phone. Extremely slow charging my phone anyway, and my phone is nothing you know fancy, it's a, a Galaxy S20. FE, so it's proven old now. But it, what it will do is it'll maintain. It will charge if you don't use the phone over a long period of time, but it isn't a quick charge by any means. But it will maintain where your battery level's at, so buy any time. So I always carry that as a backup. And um, like I said, if you are traveling, you just grab a lot of batteries, good use of batteries, boom, you've got power on the go. Yep. Put the burgers in and just keep turning them. Make sure and lift them off the heat so you don't burn them. Yeah. Right. Right, while he's doing that, he's cooking his burgers out. Uh, we're going to go see if we can find wee bits of dry wood. Which could probably be a bit of a challenge because it, um, it is extremely wet in here. Uh, we we'll get a couple of we love so, um, get a couple of nice dry branches. We'll get the little firebox on the go. Something that's just fell out of the tree. That's what we want. Mix of that. Might do, might get a start it. We don't need much to start. Use this in oh, forever. Let's see if I can remember how it works.
something like that. Getting it tight there, Jim? Huh? You got it tight? See, that pot is not that clean. It looks like it's just got a million times earlier. Oh, but alright, hard me up. Get it any. I know, but like, don't read it. <laughs> Being fussy, so it's. Oh, it's grand, Jim. It's just it's, the butter's burning. Just get the burgers on. The fat of the burgers in it. There we go. Something like that. Fire lighters in. <laughs> Are you getting them over here, James? Decent, you know. Here. It's actually not doing too bad. It's not completely cremated yet, but look at the pan. <laughs> My first time not cooking canned food. Well, this is it. First time cooking burgers. Right, we'll concentrate on our wee job over here. Keeping this going. I got some more wood there, but I don't know, folks. I put a fire lighter in there, that's why it's blazing so high. The wood is very wet. It might not, um, it might not take, but we'll keep trying. Which is, I would. I think I need to do it even more like, but that's. Done. You need another pellet on that. Oh, I wouldn't eat that like that, that's right. I can <laughs> go again. I think that's too yourself. Put an R pellet on it. Alright. That one there, you can see the, the blood oozing out of it. But here, maybe that's just me, I like everything well done. How they get till it's burnt to a crisp. That's peppercorn butter. So we'll cook it in that. Two shorelines here. Because I'm a growing boy. Oh yes, they're cooking nicely. Some onion and pepper in. I don't think I'm going to have enough room to get all this in because I have to try and get rice in here. Although I might cook the onion and pepper along with the steak, move it out there and cook the rice. Let's put them onto the side of the plate here. So we get our. What did I just do? Steaks are okay, that's the main thing. But I lost some of my veg. Not all of it, but some of it. Could have been worse. Right. Let's get this rice in before anything else happens. Have you any butter left, James? Uh, I've got some left, yeah. Give me some more butter. Yeah, uh, the end of this. Even extra. But it's looking a bit dry there. Um, probably because I coat the pan there and most of the, the juices have fell over the floor. But this will rescue it. Lovely. Prices have heard it. There we go.
Look at this little mofo. What does he think he's doing? I think it's time to crack open the wine. A little bit of Sauvignon Blanc. Out of our lovely wine cup. I haven't drank white wine in a long time. The last um, lot of wine I've had has been red, Merlot. So. Not bad, not bad indeed. It's a camera picking that banging up. See if it goes again. Look at that. Where is that? It's just fireworks, maybe. James, do you hear the banging? I don't know if it's fireworks or it's somebody. Oh, it's just fireworks. I hear it now with the, when the cars go past. Or now there's no cars going past, right? I can hear it properly. It's just fireworks, okay. Crisis of birth. Shut up shop. Right, I definitely had a bunch back there. Definitely. Brian Stephanie broke there, somebody's walking about there. Ah, I heard that as well, I heard that as well. There's somebody with a branch cracking. Ah, I heard it. Right. You come and investigate. Oh, wait, come on.
scan you to the right and I'll scan to the left. You know, just for your light, I mean. Was it that? Right, That's, that right, was the noise I heard. Big, proper big crunch of a branch. Was it me? No, it wasn't me. Yeah, it's from there. Something came from there. See, folks, we're really close to the, the road, and there's a lay-by just there. And this part here has signs of people coming in out of here. Because, uh, I don't know if it's dog walkers in here or what, but because it's, it's easy terrain to walk through. There's the fence. Just there. Don't know if the camera can pick that up. But there's the border fence. Right along there. If somebody could then hide in one of those trees, you wouldn't see them. I should have one of them real big high power torches just to light this whole place up. This wee headlamp and this little phone um, lamp isn't cutting it. So there's nothing really much we can do. Just have to go back and hopefully it's not um, Michael Myers with a butcher knife. Right. Let's go back and catch up on the YouTube videos. You can't even find a bloody tent now. <laughs> we are genuinely lost. We definitely haven't gotten down all these trains. Uh, we've seen that last time. Right, we're just going back on ourselves now. We're going back down this wee wall again. We climbed up there two seconds ago. Who was that? Time. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Thought we'd never gonna find it. Right, I'm gonna resume my YouTube watching here and um, I will bring you back shortly. A polar bear walks into a bar. And there was a rum and a coke. Bartender says, What's with the paws? Polar bear says, I was born with them. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Alright, folks. I'm starting to get tired. So. Unless something kicks off here, I need to bring these back. I will just see you in the morning. Good night.
Good morning. Cold, wintry morning. This sleep bag just doesn't cut it. I have my coat over the top of it and all. my feet are freezing. <sighs> the joys of the joys of living in Northern Ireland. I think I need some coffee. So I couldn't get my Nescafe three in ones. So I had to grab the Spar home brand cappuccinos. I'm not fast enough, but that's all there was. I just like a nice plain coffee with sugar in the mornings, you know, white coffee and sugar. But that's what we've got, so that's what we have to use. Just give you the usual disclaimer. Do not do anything I do on this channel. It's strictly for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, I have a little vent open straight above there, so that's going straight out. It's a good little vent on these. I don't think I've actually ever shown you how the vents work on this little tent. There's two little pop-out vents each side, which you can actually use them as a little window. So it's letting um, oxygen come in. As you can hear, the world is starting to wake up. The traffic's getting a lot busier. Birds are chirping. Still haven't heard anything from James. Don't know if he's still snoring away in there or what he's up to, but we're going to have to give him a, a wake up call soon. I don't usually make breakfast in the mornings, as you know, but I'm going to try one of these little things, see how handy it is if I can just boil the water and mix it straight to it without using. Uh, microwave, they're designed for microwave, so let's just see how that works. Could be a, a handy little breakfast, um, camping breakfast. Quaker oats, apple, and blueberry flavour. Are you up, Jamesy? Eh? Snoring away. Let's give this a try. Not bad. Set us up nicely. Do you want some porridge made, James? I'm good. No? Right. Eat this, get that pulled down, and get out of here. That's us packed up once again, folks. Nothing left but a, a bit of flattened ground. That was my little home. That was James' home over there. Time to get this wagon on my back and get the hell out of here. Thanks for watching once again. Hit the like button. Keep her stealth.